Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. If you are um, new to my channel, I welcome you here. Uh, my name is Helena Larson. I am a life coach. Uh, to be specific, to be specific, I am your comeback coach. Um, and what that means is, if you are, you know, um, in a slump and you are trying to get out of your rut and you are going through some life changes and you are feeling like you needed that extra oomph um, to move you forward, to push you forward to your next breakthrough, I am your coach. Um, I have been there. I have been through many different ruts, many different kind of ruts, and I um, definitely have the experience and uh, my fair share of stories to share and to help impact you in your life. And uh, today is um, no different. Today we're going to talk about spring cleaning your life. We are in spring now. Uh, finally, some sunshine. Um, I live in the state of Minnesota, so today it's sunny, but it's still a little bit chilly and cold. Um, but I think I usually like to seize these moments where I am inside to really declutter because when the sun comes and it's summer and it's warm outside, I want to go out and enjoy um, the outdoors. I don't want to be kept inside so um without further ado let's get into um our program here i do have some notes and some tips that i would like to share with you around decluttering um, i have started my decluttering journey what six seven years ago um, it is ongoing every year every month i still find myself uh you know having to set some time aside to declutter to get rid of stuff especially with children because they outgrow their outfits, they grow bigger, they grow taller, and then now we have to get rid of all the old clothes, the old toys, and all that stuff. Uh, you know what I mean. So today I actually have some um, good tips, I hope, that you would uh, value um, that I'm going to share with you around decluttering. So uh, the art of simplifying your life allows you to be more focused on what truly matters. And I truly, really believe in that uh, because when you have lesser things, you have lesser upkeep. And so you can, you know, be able to spend more time with your family. You'll be able to go out and really enjoy a quality of life that's the outdoors and not have to worry about the nitty gritty things that get in your way. Um, and most importantly, when you get rid of the stuff that no longer serve you, you can see more clearly, you can think more clearly, and uh, you have room to invite new things in your life. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Um, so here are a few tips. So obviously, the main decluttering focus is to get rid of stuff that you don't need anymore. So I have a few tips. Um, if you are a busy person like I am, and you don't have a lot of time um there's one tip that i would say is set aside 10 minutes of your day to just grab and trash so anything that you can see on your surface mails um you know wrappers um anything that it's been sitting there you are not looking at it you are not going to look through it but you just stash it away those are the things you need to get rid of. And it doesn't take a lot of your time, just 10 minutes a day. You'll be surprised how much of a difference that's going to make in your space. Um, the other thing is find and create homes. So um, sometimes the reason behind why clutter is happening is because there isn't a home for that thing. Um, some things clearly you do not need to keep, but there are some things that you need to find a home for. You know, like my kids, they have um, worksheets from school, they have arts and crafts, they have um, pictures or paintings or arts that they bring home from school. You know, those are things that are ongoing because they go to school, they bring it home every day. So just having a space for those things, um, especially things that are, you know, has some a value to it like you know for uh, memento sake um, I like to keep my kids arts because uh, you know I think that it would be nice for them to be able to show it to their grandparents when they come back over summer um, and they can maybe someday uh, when they have the graduation party that you know I'm able to bring out some of those uh, art pieces that they actually created when they were a little younger I think those are really um, some fun ways to display those art stuff so it's good to have a space 
uh, a home for those things so that they are not cluttering up your your drawer they are not cluttering up your counter space um, and one thing too to in order for you to really know what you truly have um, and I'm sure everybody every home has uh, what we call a junk drawer whatever that junk drawer contains for me my junk drawer usually contains mails uh, knick-knack stuff that's laying on the counter that I don't want to see anymore I just stuff it in the, the drawer but um, what's going to be helpful is you pull them all out you look at what you have and then you start creating homes for them or you decide you're going to toss them because in order for you to tackle your trash or your clutter is to really uh, take a good look at them um, one thing that, uh, like I said, that I have a lot is paper. So I have a paper holding area, a little basket where you um, <clears throat> put them all in one spot. And then over the weekend when you have a little bit more time, take 10 minutes out of your time to just sort through it. Um, those that you don't need, trash them. And those that you need and you want to file, file them. So have a home for those things so that way um, you can put them away to the appropriate spot so that they don't, hold up space that uh you know where they don't belong um <clears throat> for uh the bigger projects when it comes to decluttering i think for women especially it's really purging out your closet um if you are someone that's on the go like me um obviously this is what i'm gonna say your initial cluttering uh pr initial cluttering endeavor is going to be a little bit more long drawn out and involved because you haven't uncluttered, you haven't decluttered yet. So you have all sorts of stuff that you have to sort through. But once you go past that first phase of decluttering, then it's really about maintaining your clutter, not maintaining your clutter, but maintaining your space to get rid of clutter. So um, closets wise, if initially you have to bring everything out, you got to look at it, you got to see what fits, what doesn't fit anymore. And then you got to um, categorize them you got to think about you want to uh, sell them you want to donate them you want to give them away um, I personally have turned my closet into a Poshmark shop where I actually sell some of my uh, you know outfits and they are all of still good quality but they they are no longer my taste but uh, it could be someone else's treasure so I put them on Poshmark and I do make sales from that and that um, you know contributed to my bank account and if I do want to um, go out for fun that will be my fun money or you know I can use it to buy something that um, suits more my current taste and then um, and or just save the money um, one quick way for me right now to just maintain my closet is uh how i declutter is i try to wear a different outfit every day and i i have a lot of clothes i love clothes i used to love clothes not anymore not because i don't love them it's just i feel like i have everything so then i don't feel like i'm crazy for you know a certain style or whatever although i feel like my taste has evolved and it's it's gotten to be more of a comfort uh, simple minimalistic kind of a uh, 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 outfits that I'm going for versus the more floral taste that I used to have so um, uh, what I do is I wear a different outfit every day and if it, you know throughout the day you, you, you know whether you feel your outfit or you don't you feel like you know you feel confident or you don't feel like this is just not me anymore toss it that's how I do it every day I wear a different outfit to work and then uh, the outfit that I don't feel like it's me anymore i just put it aside and then like i said i have my porsche mark shop where i sell all my uh, outfits then i would just uh, post them and put them up for sale and then the ones that i still am digging it i still like it i still feel you know um joy wearing it i feel confident wearing it i keep them and then uh, again another season comes i will wear them again and you know your taste last season is different this season so i think that's a very easy easy way for you you're going to wear clothes to to wherever you go anyway so might as well just put that on if it no longer serves you you don't find joy you don't feel it um then let it go and let it go to someone who will treasure it um and the other thing is your closet like i said should feel should reflect your life it should it should it should bring you joy you know um i have a lot of clothes and sometimes when i look in my closet it's like i have a lot a bajillion clothes but like nothing to wear because nothing really suits me and my personality anymore so 
um, it's good to just keep it uncluttered and like I said as you you uh, change out your clothes and things that no longer brings you joy just put them aside so very soon you're gonna have a closet that really reflects your style and a closet that really brings you joy so then you don't have that additional burden or stress in the morning when you're looking in your closet and you'll get you can't find anything to wear because you have already pushed out all the things that you don't wear anymore and then you just you know look at it with fresh set of eyes and you'll be able to really pick your outfit and have fun doing that um the other thing is to sort your clothes out with season like in minnesota we have oh my gosh we can have four season in a day you know we have sunny days where it's warm warm and then like like when it's overcast and windy now you, now you need a sweatshirt or you need a, a a cardigan so it's good to kind of sort your clothes out by seasons um you know i have my summer bin my spring because my spring and my winter um they are obviously winter is slightly heavier but then uh minnesota spring is not warm right away so i need a little bit heavy but not too heavy you know so then i have like my spring closet so like right now i'm in the midst of getting rid not getting rid but you know kind of putting my uh, winter stuff away bring out some of my spring stuff but now we're kind of like in between some days it's like a summer weather and some days it's like a spring weather so i still have those two things in my closet so if you kind of um spread them out in in different through different seasons you find yourself being able to declutter them easier as you uh, follow the tip that i shared earlier um for people who have kids um, toy bins closets like I have two growing boys and uh, now their fun toys is their Xbox and their, um, their their computer games so they don't really play like toy toys anymore once in a while my son will go and play with his Legos but like um, those toy trucks those toy uh, figurines like we just got rid of some of his Ninja Turtle toys because you know don't play with it anymore so it's good to kind of sort them through and see some sometimes they just have broken toys like i don't even know why we keep them but we do so just get rid of the broken toys and then for the ones that are still intact and good but the boys no longer or your kids no longer play with them donate them if you want to there are some places that actually uh, are open to accepting donations for um children who have less so those are good organizations to donate to um I, I organize a garage oh my gosh the garage is like my dumping ground because like i just we just had christmas i know it's already april but i still have christmas bins in gar in the garage waiting for my husband to put in the attic so um it's good to kind of once in a while declutter your garage kind of organize things according to their section their groups and then um, that way you don't find yourself too overwhelmed when you go into the garage because that's usually where we dump our stuff um, one thing I want to share is around like the emotions when you are going through the decluttering process. Um, it sounds like fun. It sounds like, you know, you're taking back your life and taking back your house by organizing it. But before you do that, it is going to be a lot of emotions involved. Um, I just shared with my pod in my podcast. If you haven't uh, listened to my podcast, Morning Reflections, I encourage you to, um, you know, take a listen. So um, I shared earlier in my podcast around the emotions I felt when I did declutter the first time. I haul all of my clothes. I have three closets full of clothes and I pull them all out. And I, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding you. It is a pile, a mountain of clothes. And um, I felt emotionally overwhelmed. I was so emotionally overwhelmed. I was so ashamed of myself. Some of the clothes that I got out of my closet were had still have tags on them and um it just really make me feel bad about myself like why do I spend my money on things that I'm not even wearing and this money could have been put to better use and um uh, so really going over uh cl clutter sometimes bring out some emotions in you and that is completely natural it is going to get easier I promise um, so I had to go through that phase too, just feeling ashamed, feeling lousy, feeling bad, you know, um, feeling sad. That's the other thing, feeling sad when you have to let go of stuff. Um, when you're doing this the first time, this is very normal. You are going to go through a roller coaster of emotions because then once you get past the shame, the 
the the the sad, the overwhelm, the the disgust. Then you're gonna deal with the complete overwhelm of, oh my gosh, now I have a mountain of clothes to deal with. Um, it is going to take time, my dears. It's going to take time. You're going to have to spend some dedicated time to 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 separate them you're going to it's going to take time for you to decide what you're going to do with them it's going to take time for you to bring even like it took me two weeks uh because i took the week two weeks ago off to just declutter my house and i had like a truck full of stuff to donate and it took time uh, from my day to actually drive these things to goodwill to donate and um it is going to take time so don't be so hard on yourself. Um, digest your feelings. Um, sometimes having clutter is a symptom of something that's empty inside. I also shared in my podcast about how um, I used to love acquiring things. I love to buy things to fill the void in my life. But nothing uh, ever really lasts because the next high or the next stress comes and I go out and go get my next high through buying things. But um i end up with an empty heart and uh, a closet full of things that brings me no joy so really thinking about why why do you have all these things when do you go get these things is it when you're sad is it when you're mad could that could there be a different um a different and a better habit that could help you um uh, what do you call it uh use your emotions a little bit uh in a better way like understand your emotions and have healthy ha healthier habits than going to buy things uh, for me i find that i uh was actually able to look within and just uh through that process find purpose in um, helping others who are going through the same and am able to find a more fulfilling purposeful way of handling my emotions instead of going out there and buying things. Because buying things is the easiest um, fix. That's what I would say. You know, it's like putting a band-aid on a wound. But um, the wound and the scar is still going to be there. So really having to deal with uh, what that wound is and finding healthier ways to deal with it. And it really brings you more fulfillment, for more, more long-lasting joy. Um, last but not least, I have other tips that I can uh, share with you some quick ones, um, tips for decluttering. So um, what do you call it? The the donate stuff, unneeded stuff that you 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 don't need anymore. Some people, um, I, at one point I was having a hard time getting rid of stuff. So I, I try to think of people that I can give stuff to. But at the end of the day, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just donate it. Just get rid of it because you have less things, less stress. Uh, check your closet, you know. Don't wait till a whole year go has gone by before you look at your closet. Then it's going to be a mountain full again. So try to do it every season. I mean, every three months, every every six months, you find that you have to deal with less. Um, like I said, the initial piece is going to be very overwhelming because you have not done this before. But if you maintain it on a small, short, regular time frame, you find yourself being less stressed. Um what is if uh, the one year and gone rule so if you don't if you see it for one year you haven't touched it you probably don't need it same thing if you see your clothes you have, it's been sitting in there for one year you have not worried you probably don't need it so the one year and gone rule is really good because you know we usually have stuff sitting in a corner and we don't even know it's there until we look at it and so those are things that you can easy, easily get rid of and um just get rid of the space that it's taking that no longer brings you joy or serve you uh, invite families and friends to help. Some of your friends and family are awesome. They give you some really um, good advice and they can help you through some of the emotions. So um, if you can rope some of those people that you care about that don't judge you but are there to be supportive to come help you, um, make it a fun thing. Um, take one rope at, at a time. So I personally started with my closet and then I slowly um, go into my um, kitchen cabinets because there's like plates and you know I have those baby plates baby baby spoons like I don't need them anymore my boys are 9 and 12 like they, they don't need those baby plates anymore just get rid of it but like anything in order for you to do that you need to make time to take time and um and 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 one step at a time and then you do your junk drawer and then you do your bathroom 
cabinets because I have my bathroom cabinets, my God, it has a lot of crap in it that I don't even, you know, use and I don't even know why it's there. Old makeup, um, I have like old like uh, soaps, you know, um, not soaps, what is those things called? Like cleaning solutions that I don't even use or half use and, you know, so those are things that really take up a lot of space and it doesn't ha you don't have to do the whole entire house in one day. Don't overwhelm yourself. One thing at a time. This weekend, you do your closet. Next weekend, you do the room. The next weekend, you do the, the kitchen cabinets. And then before you know it, a month has gone and you have really cleaned your house out. So take time and, and one room at a time. And sometimes one room does take longer. Maybe, you know, like it might take a couple weeks. It might take a month. It's okay. Um, go at your own pace. Nobody's judging. Uh, and remember, it does get harder before it gets easier. But before you know it, um, it's going to be, you're going to have your house back. You're going to get a clean house. And with clean house, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel fresher. You're going to feel lighter. It puts you in a good mood. It, it makes everything so much better. Um, and, and, and not just on the surface, you know, not just on the countertops, not just... Um, this appearance it look nice but you really go deep like you go into your cabinet where people cannot see that is real progress um start small don't don't or be overwhelmed if you i personally go all out i went in i went all out you don't have to do that you can just you know start small like i said 10 minutes or just do like the outfit thing wear one outfit if it doesn't serve you put them away and then before you know it, you wear all your outfit and you've you you have um a whole closet that you actually truly love and not like 50% of those clothing in the closet you don't even um, use them anymore create a plan you know have a timeline you know I think as human beings we progress is a great thing it doesn't have to be perfection just little progress makes you feel like you are making movements and I think that's all that matters so if today all you could do is to declutter your 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 kitchen cabinet Hey, you clean out your kitchen cabinet. Who cares if the garage is still a mess or your wardrobe is still full of clothes? It, it, it doesn't matter. Celebrate the success and the time you took. And before you know it, all of the house will be clean. Um, and and uh, one thing that is most important is focus on yourself. Listen to yourself. You know, listen. If, you, if you're not ready to get rid of something, don't. Nobody say you have to. You know, when you're ready to get rid of something, you will. Uh, when I started my declaring process, I, I did go all out, but there was also a lot of things that I, I was hesitant to get rid of. Uh, but then over time, I, I, I was willing to because it no longer serves me and I was ready to part with those things. And, and so don't feel like you have to declutter everything and just get rid of everything and then, and then you, you, you didn't stop to think about it and then later you regret, you know what I mean? Because some things, once you let go, you can't have it back. Um, so it's okay if, if, if you're, if you're, listen to your body, listen to, to your inner self. If, if you feel a hesitancy, don't just, just, just leave it. Don't, don't push it. Don't push yourself. You know, self-care is very important too. Um, including listening to yourself. Um, keep it short and sweet. Don't have to do it long, two hour, whole of your Sunday, long drawn out. You know, sometimes it's just one hour in the morning. Just get that done, you know, short and sweet so that it doesn't become like a burden. Because the thing is, we are more likely to go back to something that is not a burden and it doesn't overwhelm us. So um, if keep it short and sweet, however that short and sweet means to you. And if today you feel like you got the stamina to go for all day, go, go for all day. But it doesn't have to be all day, all day long, all month long, all year long. You know what I mean? Um, again, listen to yourself. That listen to what yourself is telling you. If it's starting to get frustrating, it's trying to get you start to get resentful about the process. Then you need to stop. You need to stop because you 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 have reached your max. Um, but if you feel like you can go, it brings you joy. You have some music on. You're getting in the mood. You you feel like you, you know you feel good about you know this energy of of decluttering and you're feeling it and you want to go all day. Great. But if you have this plan of you want to declutter all day, but then you just like right off the bat, don't feel it, then don't do it. You know, just listen to yourself. Um, 
create a calm place where you feel like you can zen out. So maybe just, just where is the place that you hang out most? Your living room most probably, where the TV is on and you need to, you want that time to like um, decompress. Then focus on that space because that's the space that you're going to look at all the time anyway. So spend that time, maybe that, that one space is your calm space and that you always come back to and that's good. And then slowly work work around the other areas of your house um and don't worry about perfection like i said you know there is no perfection uh it's your house nobody else's house nobody can tell you how it looks so don't demand perfection there's no perfection in this world there's no perfection out there and there's no not going to be perfection and when you think you have cheap perfection you, your new definition of perfection is going to come so don't um don't don't seek what's impossible because then you, you find yourself unfulfilled and unhappy um what else don't be afraid of uh grieving so you know sometimes um sometimes clutter is not clutter of your own maybe you have someone that passed away um and some of these things are clutter from the outside but it really means something to you you know say you have a spouse that passed away or you have family member that passed away and then now you have to go in and you have to declutter and and it's hard when you when that someone passes away and 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 the shirt the the clothes their shoes their their stuff their cup it it reminds you of them and it is it's hard to deal with grief and it's okay if it's too much just don't do it but um allow yourself the space to do it um, but listen to yourself and 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 it's okay to grieve it's okay to be sad it's okay to 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 cry when you are going through something like that and um, not all clutter is fun not all clutter is um, stuff that is of your own sometimes it's clutter that you have to deal with because um, because it's family and that happens but be gentle with yourself and if you if you're not feeling it and it's it's really affecting your mental health then 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 stop um, and that's where I think that it's good to have friends and family for support especially in that kind of situation where you're like now you're going in and you are trying to um, you know clear out some of the stuff that you know it's time but you just don't know if you can emotionally handle it like that's the time when you need that support so um overall just give yourself the space to feel how you feel nobody can or should tell you how you feel um you you have the power to to be in control of the process um so so um just be gentle and then um the other thing is just you know uh reward yourself you know maybe end of this go go out and have a dinner or something you know so that way you you find yourself wanting to continuously go back to it um and 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 make it fun make it nice like i said you know add some music uh you know add some um nice scents i have those plugins that i buy from um uh from the scent store what is that called not bit bath and beyond or i don't know I can't even remember that name, but um, sometimes the fragrance just kind of puts you in the mood and, and makes you happy. But most important thing is remember that this is a positive process. Uh, it, is, is it, it is for you to grow. It is for you to move forward. It is for you to uh, fill your life with better things and to get rid of things that no longer serve you. And... Uh, if you have that perspective and that mindset, you you will be able to stick it out to the end. But most importantly, um, throughout the process, be gentle with yourself. Um, you are in control and you have the power to do this. You did not, It did not take you one day to get to all the clutter that you're seeing. It took you years. And so it's going to take, you know, months, maybe years to completely declutter your house but remember it's a process it's not a one and done deal and so um be gentle with yourself and 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 constantly go back to it to maintain um this calm lifestyle that um that you are now, not that you are now 
as a person because um, your space is going to reflect who you are and as you grow your space is going to reflect who you are too so um, that is just a, a, a process of um, your own personal evolution so I commend you for starting and I encourage you to hang in there a little longer and um, I give you permission to take the time with yourself and to forgive yourself and to um, allow yourself to experience whatever you're experiencing because I know that um, you will come out the other side a better person um, with more mental clarity uh, more space for bigger and better things for you and um, I, I, I wish you love and I hope to see you again and thank you so much for visiting my channel and uh, I hope this has helped you uh, put down your comments below if you like my channel please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon